of the Oz trial. Yeah. I know it's going back a long way, but the reason I wanted to talk about it was because of the Hippie Hippie Shake movie that's being made at the moment. Yeah, right, right. What sort of connection have you got with that movie? Well, I mean, what can be wrong with the movie where Sienna Miller is going to take all her clothes off? <laughs> so far, I mean, let's be serious. Can there be anything wrong with the movie where Sienna Miller takes her clothes off? Well, not really. Not really. Will it be a great movie? No. You don't think so? No. Working Title is not an independent movie making company. Working Title is owned lock, stock and barrel by Universal. And Universal Films are owned lock, stock and barrel by GE, by General Electric. Let's just be absolutely clear about who's making this movie. Let me so, get this right, you know. So massive you... conglomerates are making a movie about a bunch of hippies in Britain. Oh, really? So well, you... I bet that's going to be really sensitive and get down to the issues, like hell. What it's going to get down to is whether Sienna Miller agrees to allow her tits to be seen front on or not. That's what it's going to get down to. This is, the, 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 you know, hippie hippie shake is the trials of Oz or whatever it's called. It's not going to be about the trials of Oz or about what happened in Britain in 1968, 69, 70, 71. It's going to be about how Tim Bevan can get more money by getting more bums on seats and pretend yet again that he is the leading face of British independent movie making. He's not the leading face of British independent movie making. He sold out to Universal Films. And you know, let's get absolutely clear where we stand here. <laughs> who is whom? Who stands behind the shadow? We know who stands behind the shadow. And, and Does the same go for it? It has absolutely nothing to do with what happened. It has absolutely nothing to do with the real people that were involved. It is merely yet another vehicle for working title to pretend that they're an independent movie making operation, which is laughable. So you, you clearly don't think that much of Working Title? It's got nothing to do. I, I think Working Title is a wonderful company. And I, you don't understand. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm on their side, brother. You don't understand. <laughs> I'm just trying to explain to you yeah. that what they're making has got nothing to do with what happened. But how do you know that? Because the, the director's been out to Australia interviewing Louise Ferrier and... No? Have, have you been approached and spoken to? I've had enough close contact with enough people involved in the movie, including the script and many other things, that I know that the script, neither the script, nor the act, uh, what the actors have done and many other people have, done, have anything to do with reality. Really? It is not about history. It's not about what happened. It's Hollywood history, mm. which means it's a love story, where the wrong guy has chosen to be the bad guy. <laughs> Who's that? It doesn't to? matter. That everything is just switched around mm. for the sake of making a Hollywood movie. And how I mean, is there anything wrong with this? But, but, but there's, surely there's everything wrong with it. How do you is that really? Well, it, it... well, did they promise to make you a? Did they promise you a rose garden? You know, did they promise to tell the truth? No, they didn't. How did you feel when you read the script? I thought, well. This script has got nothing to do with reality. But of course, of course it doesn't have anything to do with reality. You think Mr. Chips goes to Hollywood's got anything to, goes to Washington's got anything to do with reality. But Felix, this is... Has a... the Magnificent Seven got anything to do with what happened, you know, in, in the West when they tamed the, the so-called Wild West? And the answer is, no, it doesn't. And neither does this. It, it has nothing to do with what really happened. It's a movie. I hope it's a great movie. But, but it's based on Richard, I that, that Richard Neville's... They're using all our real names, I understand that. Yeah. It's, it's based on Richard Neville's... No, it's not. It's not based on Richard's book at all. They bought the rights to Richard's book, but the movie, as far as I can see, has very, very little to do with what's in Richard's book. They bought the rights to Richard's book, which gives them a fig leaf of cover. But then they took Richard's book and did whatever they wanted anyway. But, Felix, when you think that that was such a pivotal part of your darling, life... Darling, darling, they're, a, they're a, a movie company. They've got to make money. They've got to put bums on seats. This is not the BBC, you know, under Lord Reith, making the documentary of, you know, the invasion of Sicily in 1944. 
This is a movie company owned by Universal Films, owned by General Electric, trying to get bums on seats. This has got nothing to do with what happened in 1967 to 1971. Yeah. So, you know, how... You know, but how do you feel about... What your... do you want to do? What? You, you want me to get really angry and throw my hundreds and hundreds of millions of pounds against them in a massive lawsuit so you guys can sell a few more, you know, whatever it is you're selling here? No. Go stuff yourself. Did you have a bottom line is I'm, I'm, You know, in the end, this is not about what happened. This is a movie. Yeah. What, what did the other characters that, that were involved, yeah, Louise Ferrier, Richard Neville, that are, did they all see the script? What did they think of it? You've got to go and ask them. Many of them saw the script. Many of them signed paperwork to ensure that working title could never be inconvenienced by their lawsuits, which is perfectly normal for working title or any movie company to do. Mm. if they're making a movie about living people. Did I sign such a document? No. And, and why was that? Because I'm worth 800 million quid and they're not. So might you inconvenience them at some point? Only if they really piss me off. <laughs> what is your, I, I, your, I, I, your I feeling? I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. I don't want to stop other people, other entrepreneurs, having a good time. Making something people like and making money. Hmm. I don't want to do that. I'm not a hypocrite. Whatever else I am, I'm not a hypocrite. So they're going to have to really, really, really piss me off. <laughs> then I'll do something. And they wouldn't like it. Universal films are not universal films. They wouldn't like it. But if they don't really piss me off, then I won't. And that's fine. And by the way, do I think less of people who don't have very much money and take $50,000, $100,000, $200,000 from working title films so that you know, they sign their life away? No, I do not. Did they offer you um, a payment for a sort of... Uh... I think it's fair to say that I've never been offered anything. You haven't? No, no. not at all. Maybe they thought that it wasn't worth offering it. Who knows? So, so they must be quite anxious for you to be... I don't think they're remotely anxious. No. I, think you should, I, think you're, I think you're basically banging on an empty drum here. <laughs> you know, if you, if you want my honest opinion as an old journalist, I think you're whacking away on an empty drum okay. here. OK. Shall I hit another drum? I would if I were you, and you better hurry up, because I've got a board meeting. <laughs> Louise, to Louis, Louise Ferrier. What about Louise well, Did you have a relationship with her back it's then? It's none of your business who I had a relationship with. I'm a bloody gentleman. I wouldn't tell you if I did or if I didn't. I adore Louise Ferrier. She was certainly one of the most beautiful women in London in the late 1960s and early 1970s. She was a creature of ethereal beauty and of enormous kindness and tremendous brains. She was absolutely fantastic. But as a gentleman, I am not discussing with you or anybody else what may or may not have happened. Is that clear? It is clear. Thank you. <laughs> have you had a relationship with Sienna Miller? <laughs> if I was capable today of having a relationship with Sienna Miller, I certainly would. And I wish Sienna Miller all the God bless in the world. And I hope she has a tremendous career and lots and lots of success.